BIOS. A basic input output system that is BIOS is an electronic set of instructions that a personal computer uses to successfully start up. It is located on a chip on the motherboard inside of a computer and is designed to be protected from disk failure. There are many functionalities of BIOS like it performs the power on self test post. It displays the system settings and checks the CMOS setup for custom settings. It also changes the boot order of devices and initiates the bootstrap sequence. Now let's have a look at some of the functions. Post Power on self test It is used to test all the hardware peripherals that are attached to the computer to see if they are working properly. It performs a read or write test to all the addresses in the memory. It looks for a mouse and keyboard on either the PS2 or USB ports. It then proceeds to look through all the PCI ports to determine what is connected to the motherboard. System Settings When we turn on our computer and screen, the first thing that we see is the information displayed by BIOS about our computer. We can normally see the amount of memory that is available, the different CD-ROM and the hard drives available on our system. BIOS revision, system health status, date, and more depending on our BIOS maker. CMOS Complementary Metal Oxide Semiconductor It is the chip where all the BIOS settings are stored. The CMOS chip can hold between 64 bytes to 256 bytes of data. They need to be loaded up into the BIOS so it may begin to perform its task according to the way we have configured it. Boot order. We can change the boot order of the different bootable devices like CD-ROM, hard drive, USB drives, floppy drive connected to the computer according to our convenience in order to boot and load the operating system through bootloader. Bootstrap sequence. If there have been no problems so far, the BIOS will attempt to load up the operating system. To be able to do so, it will go through in order the items listed from the CMOS and try it load the boot sector from each device, proceeding to the next if there is a failure in loading. This is the BIOS screen, it contains many options. First we look at system information, it contains the product name uh, and the BIOS version, it also contains which processor we have and its processor speed and also the cache size. And now we can also set time and date from the BIOS like you can see here we can change the time and date respectively. We can see that we have set the date and time as 3.45 am. Now this is the SATA port 1 it shows that we have size 320 GB hard disk and uh, we can also have more ports not just one port and in the SATA port 4 we have the HP DVD writer and we can also delay the post that is power on self test by the time we want and in advanced options there are many other things like onboard HD audio onboard LAN we can like LAN we can enable it and disable it according to our requirements in the boot option we can change the boot order like and also the first option is F9 boot menu like if we want the BIOS to occur with the pressing of F9 key and we can also change the boot devices order like first boot device order will be hard disk second as CD-ROM or anything we want removable network there are many this is according to our convenience in the power option we can uh, see that RTC alarm resume we can enable it disable it and in PC health status we can see the CPU fan speed CPU temperature and the system temperature and we can enable the functioning of smart fan function we can enable or disable and and then and we can exit without saving or by saving now let's have a look at some of the BIOS manufacturers BIOS is made by many companies like American Mega Trends, Phoenix Technologies Limited, Dell Computers, Microid Research, and Intel. Now let's have a look at some of the BIOS screens. This is the screenshot of the Phoenix BIOS.
This is the screenshot of the American Mega Trends BIOS. And this is the screenshot of Dell BIOS. This one is the screenshot for the Intel BIOS. Now let us look at the process of updating the BIOS. First, you should answer the question, why do we need to update the BIOS? The BIOS may need to be updated to be able to support the newer technologies. This is especially true for the older BIOS. These older ones do not always support the newer, larger hard drives, new graphic cards, newer and faster memory. In order to make our computer support these newer technologies, we need to update BIOS to a newer version to be able to support these technologies. There are some ways of updating the BIOS like Express BIOS Update, F7 BIOS Update and ISO Image BIOS Update. Express BIOS Update Now for the Express BIOS Update, we should first download and save the Express BIOS Update file to a temporary directory on the target computer and double click the .exe file to run the Express BIOS Update. This is the screenshot. Now press next on the welcome screen and then click yes on the license agreement and click no if you want to cancel the BIOS update. Press finish and then windows will shut down to begin BIOS update process. Please do not power off your computer for the next 3 minutes. Upon restart you will see the BIOS update process status window. Do not at any time power off the computer at this stage. When the BIOS update is complete, the computer will boot back into Windows. This is the screenshot where the flash update has been completed successfully. When the Windows will restart, you will see a status window indicating that BIOS update was successful. Now we come to the F7 BIOS flash update. The F7 BIOS flash update allows you to update the system BIOS during the boot process and before the operating system loads. To see if your board supports this feature in BIOS setup, check the boot display options menu setting and display F7 to update BIOS. F7 BIOS flash update. First download and save the recovery BIOS.bio file to a temporary directory. Copy the .bio to a USB device. Plug the device into a USB port of the target computer. Shut down the target computer. Then enable the F7 prompt display. Power the computer on and enter the BIOS setup. Go to the boot display options menu and enable display F7 to update BIOS. Press F10 to save and exit. During boot, when the F7 prompt is displayed, press F7 to enter the BIOS flash update tool. Now the a message will be displayed. Select the USB device and press enter. And this is the screenshot where there is Kingston Data Traveler which is the USB device connected to the computer. Now select the .bio file which is currently present in that USB device and then press enter. Confirm that you want to update by pressing enter and then wait for the update to be completed. And this is the screenshot of the BIOS flash update which has been completed successfully through this method. Now the third method is ISO image BIOS update. The ISO image BIOS update allows for the update of the BIOS to the latest production release regardless of the computer system installed on the computer's hard drive and without the need to remove the BIOS configuration jumper. It requires a blank CD, a read or writable CD drive and a software capable of uncompressing and writing the ISO image to CD. In this method, first download and save the ISO image BIOS update file using software capable of uncompressing and writing an ISO image to a CD, burn the data to a blank CD. Insert the CD that was created from the ISO image in the previous setup into the CD-ROM drive of the computer to be upgraded and then boot the computer. Press enter when prompted to begin the BIOS update process. Press any key at the welcome screen and when prompted 
remove the CD from the CD ROM drive and then press enter. During the update, you will see the BIOS update process status window. Caution: Do not power down your computer before the update is complete. This may take up to 5 minutes. And this is the screenshot where the flash update has been completed successfully through this method. Now, there are some warnings during BIOS updation because as it is not an easy process. This process itself is fragile since any power fluctuation during a flash may permanently corrupt a BIOS firmware. Great care needs to be taken in order to safely accomplish this and make sure to obtain the BIOS upgrade software from a reliable source. Downloading a BIOS from sources other than the manufacturer's website is risky. Make sure that the electrical power source is reliable when flashing a BIOS. Any sizable fluctuation or loss of power during the flash process can corrupt the BIOS. Therefore, never power down or reset a PC when flashing the BIOS. Avoid updating the BIOS unless you know exactly what you are doing. Failure to follow the manufacturer's directions and precautions may corrupt the BIOS as well. प्रोग्राम आता है अवार्ड का एमआई फ्लैश हाँ उसके हार्ड डिस्क के अंदर से मदरबोर्ड को सीसेट चलाना पड़ता है अवार्ड को फ्लैश मेमोरी को टाइप करके एंटर मारना होता है उससे फिर पूछता है कौन सा मदरबोर्ड तुम्हें कॉपी करना है फ्लैश उस मदरबोर्ड जो तुम्हें जिस मदरबोर्ड की बाइस बनानी है उसका वो मॉडल नंबर डालो उसके अंदर उसकी वो फाइल होनी चाहिए नेट से उतार करके ठीक है उस फाइल को रन कर दो पूछेगा तुमने तुम्हारा मास्टर कॉपी हो गया है अब कौन सी चिप में तुम्हें कॉपी करना है वो चलते हुए बोर्ड में चिमटी से वो बायस निकाल दो और जो खराब बायस है उसको उसमें लगा दो और एंटर मार दो जी वो बायस कॉपी हो जाएगी उससे मतलब बायोस अपडेट भी हो जाएगा सब चीज जुदाई नहीं बन जाती है मतलब ये सारा खुद प्रोग्राम खुद करना पड़ता है और अगर खुद सॉफ्टवेयर के थ्रू हो जाता है किसी सॉफ्टवेयर के थ्रू कैसे होता है सॉफ्टवेयर के ये सॉफ्टवेयर तो बताया मैंने अवार्ड एमआई फ्लैश के नाम से आता है ये सॉफ्टवेयर है अवार्ड एमआई फ्लैश उसके बाद वो एक प्रोग्रामर आता है प्रोग्रामर के अंदर तुम्हारी नेट से उसकी बायस उतार करके यूएसबी के थ्रू थ्रू प्रोग्रामर चिप लगाओ जिस प्रोग्राम का उसका मॉडल नंबर डालो और एंटर मार दीजिए फिर पूछेगा कौन सी चिप में करना है जो खराब चिप है वो प्रोग्रामर में लगा दो और एंटर मार दीजिए कॉपी हो जाएगा